my friends, it's your buddy Tactical. Back out in the wilderness again, enjoying the beautiful day. Today I brought along with me my uh, new Condor Woodworker Axe. Got it the other day, tested it for, for the first time just after that. Had a couple overstrikes, one little dent, you can see the dirt on there. I did try to clean it up, but it didn't all come off. You know, not a big deal. If it's too big of a deal, you can just sand it down. But I did prep this before I used it. I prepped the handle and stuff, but I should have protected the neck of the axe just for overstrikes and mistakes. Because you know how your man is. So today I'm going to show you how to make one of those with some paracord. So you got your paracord, you know, suggested length, I don't know, a uh, couple, at least a couple arm lengths worth. I got about almost four arm lengths worth. Depends on how far you want to go down this. But you usually don't let that deceive you. That's not the end. The end of the tomahawks or axe is about there but from where I hit it I want to start right up here and I'm gonna to work to about down there okay start like this just make a loop like this keep it straight down the center leave like an inch or so maybe more overhanging past the top of it let's see how I got that now hold that together now let's see how far did I want to go <clears throat> about this far Okay, like I said, I want to go about here to there, something like that, pretty close. And hold it in place and just go over it. It's probably safer to keep the sheath on, even though it's more bulky, more of a pain in the butt. But just deal with it just to be safer. Okay, hold that in place. Now don't do this super tight, just do it snug. Snug enough. And just keep wrapping it and try not to really overlap. Try to you know, keep it in a nice row. You just keep working that all the way until you get up to here. Now that you got it wrapped up to the desired height, see where that is. Now you got that loop still right sticking out. Now. I used probably three arm lengths. I didn't use the full four. You sneak this right underneath and through. If my handicap hands work, there we go, we're working. Draw that through just like that. And then take this one, the top one you got, and pull it through. You'll see how it's tightening that. See how it's pulling that in? Just keep doing that. I'm gonna pull it at least like halfway underneath. You're gonna have to like feed it through. It might get stuck on some of these. Just keep pulling it through just like that. I'm helping it with my nail. Or at least that, or at least that far. Do it a couple inches in. Probably do it one more. Scoot it up, keep it tight. Now when you cut this, you know, some people say go snug up. I say leave a little bit. Well, up here not as much, you can go snug. But down here I would leave a tiny bit. That way you can undo this. Because you can look how tight this is. It's pretty freaking tight. That's going to protect you from overstrikes. But if you want to take it off, if you leave a little bit down there that you can pull, feed this back through like this that little knot you slid down if you can slide it back it takes a little bit of work but then you can go like this and undo it if my fingers will work here we go there just like that and now you can just start unwrapping it boom it'll all come off just like that so there you go, you got a little protector for the neck of your axe in case you do some overstrikes, and we all do occasionally, unfortunately, we are human. And as a little bonus, you do have, you know, that 15 foot of paracord sitting there just in case you need it. So it's good. Now this ain't the only way to do it. I've seen people do it with rubber hoses, leather, metal, stuff like that. But hey, this is a quick and easy way to do it, and it will protect your axe. Just as a note, <clears throat> when you do your annual servicing on your tools. Make sure you take this off, treat the handle, then you can put it back on. Well, hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys out there. 
Thanks for stopping by. And until the next time we meet.